morning everyone, it is a fairly nice Sunday morning uh, We have a little bit of sunshine, kind of coming and going, it's kind of just went in for a few a few minutes there But uh, plenty of blue skies around and yeah, not too bad of conditions for the job we're doing today We are sowing, uh, ploughing and sowing, uh, drilling winter wheat So yeah, we're getting on, getting on okay uh, Spent yesterday, Saturday, and then we're going to be at it today as well. For maybe we're not going to do the whole day at it today because the weather forecast for the coming week isn't too bad. So yeah, we'll probably do a half day today, and maybe a little more, and uh, just try and get it's back broke if you like on this job. This job's back broke. Uh, yeah, we've got about 28 acres in total here to, to sow in winter wheat. Uh, the ground is basically split up into three parcels uh, of eight acres or three fields with eight acres each of them and then there's two smaller fields at the front that's got uh, it's got roughly two acres in each of those fields so about 28 acres in total there is there is about 32 acres in the plot but there's uh, a piece of waste ground in it and uh, yeah you can't really do much with it um, so yeah not too bad, it's 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 a nice enough piece of land. It's quite heavy the ground uh, and some bits of it is quite stony, especially here where I'm just passing through at the minute. Uh, it's a wet area with a lot of big stones in it. I think the the course of action for draining it years ago was any of the field stones that was lifted uh, throughout the rest of the field seemed to be just thrown into the wet area. I think that's maybe what was done in some places where they didn't want to spend money on the on the actual drainage of putting in land drains. Uh, so yeah, threw in lots of stones and that was probably okay when there was just a horse ploughing it and not going that deep, but when the tractor then starts to come along and starts to hook through it, uh, it starts to unearth the stones that have been buried down there for many a year. Uh, and that's what we're finding, we're finding lots of those stones in this, especially in these wet areas. Um, but yeah, look at it. it is it's 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 coming up quite well. Uh, the ground itself, uh, as I say, is heavy enough land. And it's not the kind of land that you'd like to plow and leave for a number of days uh, and maybe get wet after you've ploughed it. Because if it happened to come wet for a few days after ploughing it, especially this time of the year, you would never get it sown. Never get it sown. It would never dry back out. So it would end up sitting over the whole winter. So hence why we're kind of. We're ploughing it and coming along fairly quickly after it's sowing it. We're we're ploughing just a little bit more than what we can. Well, we're, I'm just trying to I'm more or less trying to keep ahead of the drill. That's basically the bottom line of it. Um, but yeah, we're getting on okay. We've got this is a uh, field number two uh, of the eight acre fields, and uh, that is probably about halfway through it now. So uh, we hope to have 16 acres of this sown and I'll play away at a little bit more of it uh, and then we'll get it finished up maybe on Monday tomorrow so we'll, we'll see how we get on, we're getting on okay though um, yeah so just finishing off a corner here of this field and when I have it finished I'll send up the drone I'll get a little bit of footage of how we're getting on uh, you can kind of see the layout of the fields here and uh, yeah we'll do a bit of commentary on that as we're going along so So the voiceover is back. Yeah, so we're getting on well at this stage. This is the end of field number two of the, the two eight acre fields that we're doing. Uh, we're coming out of the wet area. It's a little bit wet there just behind us at the gateway. But really where the David Brown is at the minute, that's where that damp area was. Um, but yeah, plows, plows working very well. Uh, at this stage, the, the boards are cleaning nicely on it. And yeah, it's it's turning the side over nice. And some people on to me wanting me to change settings on the plow and to adjust the top link and do this that and the other to get it to to stop leaving that little bit of a ridge it was leaving in the the first bit of plowing for the, the winter barley. Um I made no adjustments to the plow at all because until the plow started cleaning the boards, uh, the soil wasn't running off the boards properly. Uh, which meant that uh, it was kind of pushing just ahead of, uh, nearly ahead of itself. 
and until it started to clear, clean the boards properly, you were never going to get good ploughing. Uh, but it's clearing now at the stage, and that whole issue gone, sorted out. Uh, David Brown was in action. Uh, my cousin Peter is driving the David Brown. Uh, he was just tipping around, just if he's seen any stones that uh, might cause an issue for the the drill. Uh, he was just going around picking them up. So you can see some of the larger ones. Uh, he has them in the bag there. But yeah, an important part of the, the job to have somebody who's going around just picking those up. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to do a bit of a flyover now on the piece of, on this piece of ground. Uh, drill is making a really nice level job of uh, of the the drilling. Um, you can see the, the, the headland there on the right hand side. It, it's not done, it was a little bit wet, so we said we'd leave it just for a few days to, to dry out. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, We've we've adjusted the height of the the power hour this year a little bit. It's just going down a little bit deeper, and it seems to be making a really nice, uh, leaving a really nice finish on the on the ground. Um, it's it's nice and flat, uh, and also the seed is completely covered. Last year we had a wee bit of an issue where we were only getting used to the drill. It was the first time we were using it, and there was certain in certain conditions it was leaving a little bit of seed here and there. This year no issue at all. Uh, we're just going out into the back end of this field. Uh, this is quite in the, coming over the far side of it now. It's quite wet down the far side here. You'll see some of the tracks. So uh, we didn't we didn't plow at all because there was a little bit of rain kind of forecast for uh, for Sunday night uh, stroke Monday morning. So we didn't want to. We didn't want to just have a lot of ground ploughed. Uh, so what we done was we everything you see now that we ploughed, it was all drilled out by the end of the day. So uh, it just meant that uh, whether it's Monday or Tuesday, we can go back up and we can finish off the last. Uh, the last. There's only going to be there's two acres at the front and about four acres at the back and these couple of headlands. So you know, a half a day, three quarters of a day, it'll, it'll get the whole thing sorted out. Uh, so we're just flying back into the, the field here that the drill is working in. Yeah, it's working very well. Uh, to be honest, the, the 6.4 could do a little bit of extra weight on the front of it. When you have the when you have the seed box full, it is a little bit light. Now, you can see it hasn't just got a full set of weights. You could pop another few weights on there, um, which we probably should have done, but we didn't. Uh, but it's not too bad. It's, it's managing the job okay. Uh, yeah, drill is working very well. We're extremely happy with this drill. Um, the only thing we would like for it is, I think there is a set of, uh, there's like greedy boards on it for the, this drill uh, that'll allow you to put a full half ton bag of seed into it. It holds about three quarters of a bag of seed uh, as it is, which is fine, but it just means that you, you, you can't empty your full bag of seed into it, your full half ton and you have to come back and you're messing around and uh, trying to get the last bit of seed into it or you know so it's not ideal so uh, we're gonna have to look into that and maybe see if we can uh, if we can get the greedy boards for it and we put them on it Um yeah so just heading back up here now uh, see Peter is I think he's just emptying the, some of the stones that was in the the link box of the David Brown and um, yeah so he's just tipped them out and yeah, that's really all there is in this video. Uh, a little bit more footage of the day for Brown, I think. And uh, then we're going to head out into the field that I'm in. I took a bit of footage just of the ploughing there. I don't know if I'll do a voiceover on it or not. If not, uh, it will be just some music. Um, yeah, and then at the end of the video, we're going to have uh, the giveaway. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how we get on.
just realize I've built walls a mile high to protect my heart. But now I'm all alone, stuck on the inside. The heart doesn't need a castle, it needs a bridge. Been so scared that I'm So competition time, let's get these prizes give away. We've got four prizes here. Prize number one, prize number two, prize number three, prize number four. Prize number one is the i3T EOS and a beanie. Prize number two, i5T EOS and a beanie. Uh, prize number three is polo shirt and a beanie. Prize number four is the Olight Brood Mini, the head strap to turn it into a, a, a headlight or a walk light, and a beanie. So. We have the iPad set up. Uh, when I just go back up to the top, uh, yeah, iPad is set up. We have got uh, 422 comments all together. So I think we had about 300 comments in my last giveaway or uh, competition that I run. So nice increase on that. And uh, yeah, well done to everyone who has entered. Uh, best of luck. Hope you win. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to scroll right to the bottom. Make sure everybody is loaded up which they are, because uh, I want everybody to have a good chance of winning here. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is, at the bottom of this video, you can see there is a small line there. Uh, it stays still when everything else moves. What we're going to do is, in between each of the comments, there is two very small white lines. You can just about see them. So if it lands, if this line here lands inside these the two lines of the comment, that's the comment we pick. So, even it ends up like here, and it's still inside the line in the comment, I have to scroll back to get it. So I think that's the fairest way. So, as I say, best of luck to everybody. 
and let's get this competition on the road. So, first thing we're going to do, gift number one or prize number one, give this one away. Let's scroll it up and see where it stops. Uh, so, we've made it right the whole way down. Shane uh, Donligan, is it? Well done, Shane. You are the winner anyway. Uh, well done, Jerry. Looking forward to seeing the demo plow compared to your current one. Uh, for the competition, Shane Donligan. Is it Donligan? Don Don I don't know what it is. You can let me know. Uh, but well done anyway, Shane. Congratulations. You are the winner of the i3T and the beanie. Get in touch and we'll get that sent out in the next few days. Uh, best place to get in touch is either Instagram, Facebook, or you can even send it through Snapchat. Just search Jerry6420 on any of those platforms. Uh, go into the message end of it. Send the message on to me with all your details uh, and we'll get it sent out. So that's prize number one. Good man, Shane. Well done to you. Now, prize number two, the i5T EOS and the beanie. Again, we're just going to scroll it and let it stop now and see where does it stop. So it has just made it into this one here. Stephen Cooper. Good man, Stephen. You are the winner of prize number two, which is, as I said, the i5T. Uh, it is also a limited edition. And uh, the Jerry 6420 beanie. So good man, Stephen. Get in touch and we will get that sent out to you uh, as soon as you get in touch. Uh, Prize number three is the polo and the beanie. Again, we're just going to scroll it on down, going on down further just to give everyone a chance. And it has landed in Brendan Megan. So, good man, Brendan, you are the winner uh, of the polo shirt and the, the beanie. Uh, yeah, get in touch. You have to let me know just what size you are as well. Uh, and I can just make sure that I send you at the right size in a in a polo. Uh, we have every size from small right the whole way up I think to I think it's either a 2 or a 3 XL so uh, yeah let me get in touch anyway and we'll discuss it anyway and see what size you are. Um, so well done to you Brendan. Uh, final competition or final part of the competition is the Olight Prune Mini as I say and the head strap and the, the beanie. Uh, so uh, we'll just give it one swipe like this see where it ends up. Uh, Sam Porto Excellent videos. Sam Porter, you are the winner of this year. So good man, Sam. Well done to you. Uh, again, same thing. Get in touch. And I will send that out to you uh, as soon as you get in touch. Uh, so well done to all the winners. If you're not a winner, I'm sorry that you haven't been picked out. Uh, if it's a case that any of these winners don't get in touch with me in the coming in the coming, uh, I suppose we'll give it seven days. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go back in and I'll pick another winner and I'll put it at the end of the video if there is somebody else who wins. So, uh, yeah, get in touch with me in the next few days. If not, I'll I'll re raffle uh, one or two or whatever prizes isn't 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 picked up. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Again, congratulations to everyone who has won. Get in touch with me, uh, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, Jerry Six Four Twenty. I'll get them sent out to you. Uh, so that's it we'll run another competition maybe before Christmas or around that time uh, I'll see what we have or what we can give away and yeah until then uh, that's really it uh, so uh, if you're not already a subscriber don't forget to hit the sub button leave a like in the video comment down below uh, all that kind of stuff uh, yeah we'll see you in the next couple of days